Hi, I'm Vishy from the School of Continuous Improvement and now I'm going to be training you on a technique called as binary logistic regression. This model, this regression model is very different from other quantitative regression models like simple linear regression or multiple linear regression. Why? Because the response, uh, the response variable here which is customer brought status is uh, either a 1 or a 0 that is uh, whether the customer bought the product or he did not buy the product and typically binary logistic regression is used in all such cases. The predictor variables could be a mix of uh, uh, categorical variables as well as quantitative variables as you can see. Uh, we have four predictor variables, sex of the buyer, locality, average monthly income and buying price of the product. Um, and uh, like you see here, the coded means all my females, uh, that is female customers are converted to a zero and male customers are converted to one. Locality could be anything and these are uh, again coded. And as you can see here, all my text variables should be converted to numerics. So that's the reason why this model will not work on uh, text variables. Okay. I'm going to be using uh, a software called as uh, real stats which I've downloaded onto my Excel. You can do that as well uh, going to www.realstats.com. Clicking on REG which stands for regression and I click on binary logistic regression and I click on OK. So we have to now select the input range and this is the way how I select the input range. So I just select one row and I click on uh, fill right the alpha stays at 0 0.05 and uh, okay that's the classification cutoff now what does this classification cutoff mean which means any value that's greater than 0 0.5 any probability that's greater than 0 0.5 will be classified as a success and any probability success in the sense the customer has brought the product and any probability that's less than 0 0.5 will be considered as a failure which in this case will be the customer did not buy the product i'm going to remove this so i'm going to click on new and the cell selection goes away from here and then click on ok so when i click on ok i'm going to get a table like the one you see here so I'm not going to use this graph uh, much here, so I'm going to delete that off and let's try to make sense of the reading. Fine, um, obviously the variable names are slightly messed up here, so I'm just going to make sense out of that and that's my monthly income and that's my price. Perfect. So the predicted success here is 0 0.448 and that's for individual variables like these. Uh, it's predicted that uh, it will be about 44.8% chance that the customer would buy the product and you see individual probabilities like this. Um, these may not be as significant uh, in the sense that what we need to read is are these values which we call as the p-values. Simple. Um, any p any p value less than 0 0.05, you reject the null hypothesis, which means you say that the results are statistically significant. But here, as you can see, this uh, all the p values are greater than 0 0.05. So none of those four variables, which is sex, locality, um, average monthly income, uh, monthly income, and the price, have a signif statistically significant impact on the response variable, which is whether the customer has bought the product or not. Uh, if those p-values would have been uh, less than 0 0.05, uh, then this would be an interesting table for us to see. Um, the predicted success is approximately 93 and the predicted failure is approximately 5. So you've got uh, about uh, 93 divided by 98, that's, um, that's, that's approximately 94.5% um, of uh, the customer buying the product uh, from the company. There you, there you go. So that's the way how we read the results, um, although this, this table has got a lot of things to, uh, to be read on, but uh, we focus only on the significant things for us to make sense out of the binary logistic regression technique. Thank you so much for attending this session and if you do have any questions, you can write into wishy at the rate school of ci .org. Um, That's it for me from, for now and uh, you have a nice day.